After each flight, the agency that SpaceX and the aerospace community always have to pay attention to is the FAA. This is understandable because the FAA is the agency that will decide whether the next flight can be launched or not. It becomes even more crucial as SpaceX is planning ambitiously for 2024 with the FAA playing a pivotal role. And recently, this agency made its first declarations after the IFT-3 flight of Starship. So how did NASA react after Starship's flight? 3, and what did the FAA announce? Also, how did Elon Musk react? Let's find out on today's episode of Alpha Tech. Immediately after the conclusion of Starship's third launch, the Government Environmental Agency, also known as the FAA, promptly tweeted about the launch. In contrast to the celebratory tone of NASA, the FAA seemed rather somber as they tweeted, a mishap occurred during the SpaceX Starship OFT-3 mission that launched from Boca Chica, Texas on March 14th. The mishap involved both the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship vehicle. The FAA will oversee the SpaceX-led mishap investigation. This tweet indeed caused a stir across various social media platforms, sparking intense criticism for describing the event as a mishap. Instead of commemorating the significant milestone achieved by SpaceX, the FAA's labeling of the launch as a mistake raised questions about the agency's bias and lack of acknowledgement of the substantial progress demonstrated. However, four days later on on March 18th, Kevin Coleman, the Deputy Administrator of the FAA for Commercial Space Transportation, spoke to correct the meaning of the agency's words. He said, It ended in what we call a mishap, but at the end of the day, we deem it a successful launch attempt. Furthermore, Coleman said the agency wants to move to a process where the license is valid for a portfolio of launches rather than individual ones. To be honest, if this becomes a reality, it would be a significant advantage for SpaceX as the company aims for for six to nine launches this year. However, the question remains whether this will actually happen or if it's just words from the FAA to appease the anger of the space community. Right from their initial reaction after the third Starship flight, we saw their discomfort, similar to previous criticisms of how the FAA handled SpaceX's Starship program. From the first and second full stack Starship launches, the FAA didn't appear overly tense towards SpaceX, possibly due to public pressure. However, dating back to the early years of SpaceX's Starship testing, it's clear that the FAA has done everything to make things difficult for SpaceX. This has led Elon Musk to express considerable frustration, stating that he was fed up with the FAA. In December of 2020, SpaceX was attempting to launch and land their first ever Starship prototype. The FAA had worked with SpaceX and granted them a launch license, but they could only launch under certain weather conditions. Just minutes before SN8 took off, the FAA told SpaceX to cancel the launch. SpaceX employees at Mission Control ignored this message since they thought the weather was fine and that the FAA inspector didn't have the latest weather data. After an impressive launch, SN8 had a hard landing and ended up in a massive of explosion. Although no one was injured, the FAA was indeed frustrated that SpaceX had ignored their launch requirements, and they did stipulate that an FAA inspector must be present for every flight of Starship from Boca Chica. The rigorous oversight from the regulatory agencies behind the scenes played a role in delaying SpaceX's subsequent testing efforts with Starship SN9. The gleaming 16-story steel rocket was fully fueled and ready for liftoff, however, at that moment, FAA officials were still in the process of reviewing the license for the test as SpaceX had made some changes to its permit application. During that time, Musk expressed extreme frustration with the process, tweeting, Unlike its aircraft division, which is fine, the FAA space division has a fundamentally broken regulatory structure. The license violation and subsequent license review process have escalated tensions between SpaceX and the world's biggest transportation agency. For years, Musk and others in the space industry have bemoaned the age-old US regulatory framework for launch licensing as innovation and competition in space skyrockets. The delay of this agency also manifested in the launch of Starship SN11, with a very silly reason as the FAA inspector couldn't make it to Starbase in time. Because of these things in the past, the FAA still cannot gain the trust in its work from most Americans to this day. While delays in the aerospace industry may not be uncommon, when SpaceX experiences setbacks at the 
Starship program, it has significant implications not only for the company itself, but also casts a shadow on the United States' position in the fiercely competitive global space industry. In contrast to the bureaucratic hurdles faced by SpaceX, other countries, notably China, are making significant strides in their space programs with fewer regulatory obstacles. China's ambitious projects, such as the Long March rocket series and plans for moon colonization, underscore the nation's determination to assert itself as a dominant player in space exploration. The comparative agility of China's regulatory process enables its space industry to move swiftly and capitalize on emerging opportunities, posing a direct challenge to U.S. leadership. Therefore, each delay diminishes SpaceX's ability to innovate rapidly, allowing rivals to gain control. Furthermore, these delays stifle innovation, deter investment, and limit industry growth, impacting not only SpaceX, but the entire U.S. space ecosystem. This jeopardizes national interests in areas like national security and scientific advancement. In light of these challenges, there is an urgent need for policymakers to address the regulatory bottlenecks that impede the progress of American space companies. Streamlining the regulatory process, fostering greater collaboration between government agencies and industry stakeholders, and incentivizing innovation are essential steps. Failure to do so risks ceding ground to rivals and compromising America's leadership in the final frontier. Alongside its importance for the nation, SpaceX's Starship also holds significance for all of humanity on Earth, so it shouldn't be hindered by any barriers imposed by government agencies. The success of SpaceX's latest rocket holds immense significance, especially concerning NASA's timeline for sending astronauts back to the moon's surface. Starship has been selected by the space agency as the lunar lander for the Artemis III mission, slated to transport astronauts to the moon in late 2026. However, before this mission takes place, Starship must undergo a series of certification flights. While certification for crew carrying is still a significant milestone on the horizon, the success achieved today certainly sets Starship on the right trajectory. Importantly, SpaceX's vision for Starship extends far beyond lunar exploration. When Elon Musk initially introduced the Starship concept, he referred to it as the Mars Colonial Transporter. During the elaboration of the system at an International Astronautical Congress in September of 2016, he revealed a new name, the Interplanetary Transport System. These earlier designations reflect the spacecraft's primary purpose of facilitating humanity's expansion into an interplanetary species, a long-standing aspiration of Musk's. Despite these shifting timelines, Musk envisions Starship as the vehicle that will enable the establishment of a sustainable and permanent human presence beyond Earth. The key breakthrough that could realize this vision is Starship's reusability. This new system represents the next evolutionary step beyond SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket, which already employs reused boosters. However, the Falcon 9's reusability is limited to the first stage and payload fairings, with a turnaround time of a few weeks. In contrast, Starship's design emphasizes full reusability, potentially revolutionizing space travel and allowing for a more efficient and sustainable exploration of our solar system. Starship, on the other hand, is designed to be fully and rapidly reusable. The rocket's launch tower features two massive chopstick arms designed to catch Super Heavy as it returns to the launch pad for landing, and also to stack a landed Starship back onto Super Heavy for reflight. Looking ahead, SpaceX is contemplating the possibility of conducting Starship test flights every month. If this frequency is sustained, it could significantly contribute to the certification of the spacecraft for crewed launches in preparation for Artemis 3. SpaceX's track record with the Falcon 9 rocket, which has been landing more than once a week on average for the past few years, underscores the company's commitment to achieving a higher cadence for its new launch vehicle. Throughout the various stages of Starship's development, Elon Musk has consistently highlighted the spacecraft's potential for rapid reusability. His vision encompasses a scenario where the same Starship vehicles launch, land, and relaunch multiple times within a single day, ultimately leading to the prospect of hundreds of Starship launches every week. This ambitious goal aligns with SpaceX's long-standing objective of pushing the boundaries of spaceflight capabilities. Well, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and we hope to see you again next time.